What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. I'm here in Eugene, Oregon. On the phone right now. Woo! And we're about to go try out the top secret Gen 2 Arkimoto platform, a lighter sco scooter electric bike class vehicle. I'm going to get a tour of the new Arkimoto factory. Going to be doing all of this epic stuff today. Just getting the update on Arkimoto, seeing what's good here on the ground. Can't wait to bring you all along. We're getting a tour around the city in our FUVs um, with Mark and a couple members of the team. Can't wait. Let's roll. Also fuels. Sustainable future. Uh, well, I guess I think the half doors are pretty good, uh, pretty good middle ground. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's, uh, uh, I was telling Jesse, I took it up the, wow, on the expressway. Swag. Down in, um, Santa, was it? San Diego. It, it doesn't go as far when you're going that fast. Yeah. But part of it is, part of it is also the check, right? Yeah. I don't uh, I This is just B-roll, Mark and Ash. <laughs> what up? Okay, so right in front of me is Arkimoto's top secret platform two prototype. I'm gonna go for a test ride, see what the hype's about. Been hearing about it from Mark and the team. Obviously super excited to see the sort of next generation of Arkimoto's technology. And so we're here with Bob, founder of Tilting Motor Works. Hello. And we're right here at the sort of one of the Arkimoto R&D facilities. So maybe you could sum up with us. Your big breakthrough here is making the three, the, the bike with three wheels. Yeah, the tilting three wheeler. Why is that such a game changer for someone like myself who's not a motorcycle? Cycle rider. Well, adding another wheel to the front of a motorcycle significantly improves your braking and your traction while going around corners, and the additional front actually makes a much more safe motorcycle as well. And then we have the addition of what we refer to as our tilt locking system. Little switch on the handlebar that you turn on here. Once you turn that on, the bike will actually lock and level in place. With oh, that, whoa. you no longer need to have a side stand. You can't knock the bike over. As soon as you give it gas, the lock releases and it just handles like a regular motorcycle. Wow. And now you're, what can you tell us about um, Arkimoto's Gen 2 thing that you're working on? How hyped are you about it? Oh, this is gonna be really cool. It's just uh, basically taking the technology we've developed, teaming up with Arkimoto and building a really cool new uh, tilting three-wheeled electric vehicle. So, uh, in case it wasn't clear, Tilting Motor Motorworks was acquired by Arkimoto a couple months ago. I think the biggest acquisition in our company's history, and mostly for that technology that Bob was just talking about, and be able to bring that into the Arkimoto team, combining Arkimoto's electric drivetrain, you know, three-wheeled electric vehicle technology with this new next-generation tilting stuff, I think that's amazing, epic potential. Take it easy, guys. There. Top secret test of the new uh, Arkimoto Gen 2 platform vehicle. First ride ever. Let's see how it goes. There he goes. He's off. Oh my god. Wow. Absolutely epic first ride in the Generation 2 or Platform 2 vehicle. Um, that was my first. I mean, I've. I've seen it in in design. I've you know I was part, we were scheming on the Tilting Motorworks acquisition before we acquired them to see the team already move down here to see the prototype in action. It's right there. Mark's driving it. I mean I felt like I got a taste of the future. It was so fun, um, and yeah. Oh my God, that was 
maybe you can see whoop there it is anyway um epic and now i want to show you guys the amp the arkimoto factory arkimoto manufacturing plant here in eugene just booming bustling hub of activity where they're making all the arkimotos right now um, and this is a smaller uh, facility because we're right after this we're gonna go check out the new uh factory a hub of activity wow look how many arkimotos there are right behind me see how epic that is all right let's let's see what i can show you So that was a little look inside the Arkimoto manufacturing plant. Now we're gonna go just about five minutes down the road. We're still here in Eugene and we're gonna go check out um, the ramp is what they're calling it, which is the next generation Arkimoto factory. This is, I think this is an amazing sneak peek because we're about to show you guys this now and then what you're gonna see the transformation. All right, let's set this up so with the ramp. Okay. It's the best way to do this. Maybe in front of the V. Er, all right, Mark, what up? Hey. We are here outside the ramp. Welcome to the ramp. What? Tell, tell the people, what is the ramp? Uh, it's our, this is our the plant where we intend to ramp up manufacturing. So Arkimoto is in the phase right now of designing, look at it as like designing replicable mass production. And this is our intended first mass production facility for our first platform products. Wow, and so this is kind of a bigger next generation version of what we just saw, the amp just down the road. Yeah, it, likely it won't have the same type of vertical integration. So we are, you know, as you build at higher volume, you use different methods for the manufacture of different parts. So this is gonna be much more assembly focused than part construction. Although there will be some, uh, some part construction here as well. And tell us a little bit about some fun facts about square footage, vehicle production, uh, plan time yeah, to so come online. Got any, any fun facts for us? So they, the, uh, the prior owner is now estimating that it will be the end of this month when they're fully moved out, so end of September. Um, and then we've got a lot of work to do. I mean, you, as you were, were in the space, we've got a little bit of, uh, little bit, bit of spring cleaning to do to get it up to, uh, to uh, AMP standards. And, uh, and then we're, we're still, we still have a considerable amount of work to do on manufacture planning, engineering, design of that mass production version. So we're aiming to get really get first vehicles out of this factory by the end of next year. Wow. Uh, and then it will be still a ramp up process to go from there to what we're anticipating long term will be the maximum output capacity of this facility, which we're aiming for 50,000 units per year maximum capacity. It's about 100, I think 185,000 square feet of space in the building we just drove through. Mm -hmm. uh, two warehouses behind it, 15,000 square feet apiece. And then the whole site's about 10 acres. So it's, we're, this is, we haven't driven through the rest of it yet, but we'll go out uh, through the rest of the, uh, the site. And there's a lot of work we have to do in terms of just getting the site ready for logistics for moving that many parts on and that many vehicles off of the property. So exciting, can't wait to see it transform. And it's, it's dope, I can tell. It's already, it already feels exciting just like being here. All right, back on the road.
that building, that building. A lot of that's going to get transformed. Yeah, this is all going to become, you know, parking and logistics. So we're right out here, right next to the Ninkasi Brewery. Fun fact, Arkimoto uh, shares an office with them on the second level. Epic, right? Right here is also the Arkimoto deliver or rental location here in Eugene. This just opened a couple months ago. So if you're in Eugene, you can actually rent an Arkimoto for the day. Um, I would recommend doing it a couple days ahead of time because they've been pretty busy, which is honestly beating my expectations of how busy it would be. But um, people have been taking these rentals in and out. We're going to go check it out. Um, you can rent an Arkimoto for the day. Try it. It's about 100 bucks a day or 17 bucks an hour. Um, they also have some swag for sale here. And yeah, you, we're just going to go see all the cool Arkhamotos in here. Let's go check out the delivery fleet. Whoop. Got a Moscow. See, so check it out. All of these rental vehicles have like super dope um, designs and stuff. Ultimately, we want to drive high utilization of very efficient vehicles, right? So um, that's all about sharing. Uh, in the early part of the build out of the business model, it's all about destination rental. So you go someplace nice um, where you would want to drive around an island, cool city, uh, and you could rent them by the hour, by the day. And this is the first location because it's, it's crazy because you had that vision and now I've seen it, you've opened it. And it's got all these rentals and I came here yesterday and it's people are renting them all. It's yeah. dope. It's actually yeah, yeah. working. No. Wait, can you take us on a mini tour to show us all the cool stuff that's happening here? Deliverator. I love this design. I love, this is a new rental one. I love how the rental ones have these fun little patterns. Oh, I, think they, I think the team did a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, look at this one. Yeah, cool. The rental designs. And I remember on our last, maybe a year ago, this is when you dusted off the Roadster prototype. Yeah, it was on your visit almost a year ago. And now we're here and you've actually produced them and they're going to customers. No, well, I mean, that's epic. I'm major yeah. congrats. Actually, yeah, I, so I, I got the first one and uh, that's what you, we, we Sophie and Sophia's getting the second customer. Soft. Roadster. Yeah, soft. The legend himself. The legend himself. But these aren't his. No, no, these are these are demo vehicles for oh, demo. press. Okay, but soft. Wow, shout out to soft. Seriously, we continue to refine the deliberator. We're doing a, you know, and and this this door came out really crispy. Like, yeah, I really like it. It's, it's great. So it's I, solid, I it's, and it's got and it connects to the back cargo box there. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty big, so this could fit. Um, what is the? Do you have any stats on the cubic? Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a whole lot of lunches. A whole lot of lunches. And this connects to that whole compartment. This yeah. connects to that whole compartment back there. Let's see if you can. Yeah, see, it connects to that whole compartment. A lot of what we're doing right now, and you were over at R and D for a minute, uh, but the the. The, one of the reasons for doing all of the differentiated versions this year, so we're, we're you know, put the fun utility vehicle on the road, Deliverator, Rapid Responder, uh, Roadster, Flatbed, um, Cameo, is so that as we go to scale, we have a truly flexible base platform. I mean, these have been, pr this platform has been pretty darn easy to adapt, relatively speaking, to lots of different use cases. But when we go to scale, we want to make that just you know, sort of like snap on. Yeah. Hello. I haven't met you yet. Here is a legend, honestly. Why Killing it. Because I don't know, you have great marketing ideas and you need so much about Okamoto. Did you want one of those too? Yeah, is that allowed? Hi, Joe. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Here with Francis. Just wanted to leave the end of the video with the sort of the end vision here, um, which I had a great scheme session with Francis yesterday about what Arkimoto is working on. He gave me this concept of the robo valet. Um, 
I think the right model for the future. I think what's going to be the dominant mode of transportation after this current generation of rideshare, it's going to be a car share, a car share that is delivered to you via some sort of driverless technology that you drive yourself directly from your origin to your destination and then it magically goes away. We're calling that the robo valet. And I think the perfect vehicle to deploy this on is the Arkimoto. Wow. It's best for consumers and it's best for the planet. Love it. And I'm so hyped to be working with you and Mark on this and literally scheme session on the porch. I just chimed in. I'm gonna let you guys get back to it. I'm whipping to Rock Seattle. On, Mark, Same it's travels. been real. Thank tell, you so tell, much. Tell Great to meet you, Francis. Me, I will. Yeah. All right, see you guys. See you. Peace. Eugene update. That's a wrap. See you next time, Eugene. Peace.